take a look at GSRT B5. Now of all of the objectives, this one seems to me to be the most vague and one I just had to interpret and the more I've worked with it the more I feel I interpreted it correctly. Here's what it says. Use congruence and similarity criteria for triangles to solve problems and prove relationships in geometric figures. Now that to me is huge. Use congruence and similarity to pro uh, solve and prove relationships in triangles. So as I look at the common progression that we've had in the past, right at this time after we dealt with similarity, the most common thing that most books have done is progress to the geometric mean, which is all about similarity, proving, establishing, applying, and special right triangles. These are a beautiful bridge from similarity to application and use to trigonometry. I believe this is what the standard really is focusing on. And it speaks to the use of similarity and, and there's congruence in there, there's the Pythagorean theorem, there's lots of things that goes on with these topics. And so I believe that this is what's to be interpreted. But I will say the, the objective is quite vague and so groups out there may view that differently. Um, I guess all I want to say about uh, the big idea is that this is the bridge. Similarity, the idea is over on this side we have similarity and over here we want to connect it to trigonometry and so the bridge that we have are these nice uses of the geometric mean and also the special right triangles. Now the geometric mean is not an essential item but it has some nice little application to it. Special right triangles on the other hand are huge and important topic and I, if you don't do them here I don't know where you're going to do them. So do them. Alright traps and pitfalls I guess um, you know the common issues in this geometric mean is just difficult for students to know where it comes from. It's hard to diagram to show them that in this uh, triangle uh, that there are three similar triangles. Uh, the one on the left, the one on the right, and then the big triangle. Uh, pulling them out to compare them, all those things is always a difficult task to establish the geometric mean. I've got some nice activities uh, that will help you with this. The other aspect, of course, is when you get into the special right triangles, students um, get into the habit of thinking that uh, if this is 10 root 2, oh, this is just 10. They don't perform an operation there, they're just dropping root 2. So uh, we want them to be dividing by root 2 because if the number is 8, how do you drop a root 2 if it's 8 and so on. So this idea of multiplying by a number like root 2 or by a number like root 3 is definitely complex for many students. This is a good place to reestablish uh, the idea of rash, um, radicals and reducing those radicals, rationalizing denominators, things like that. There's a few tricky things in here, but uh, an excellent area to bridge between uh, similarity and trig.